when you know how you see the world, when you know who you are, the world just feels different. The world just opens up. You have so much more agency because you go, mm, nah, not for me. Mm, nah, not for me. And what we know about the human brain is that the brain doesn't really form. The prefrontal cortex doesn't fully form until you're in your late 20s. It does. Like, that's just biologically. So we're still sort of figuring out ourselves and the world, uh, and we don't have all the hardware to do it. The hardware isn't fully developed to make that happen. So it's when you're in your 30s and your 40s, not to be demographically focused, but that's when biologically we're more inclined to say, nah, I'm who I am. Nah, I'm, I, I'm good. No, thank you. Right. You know, I hear people say often, uh, I'm in my 40s too, is that in your 40s, you just don't give a F anymore because you find yourself in a place, not all of us, but you're more likely to find yourself in a place of knowing who you are and what feels right. And you prioritize those things because we find ourselves having better outcomes when there is congruence in that way. And who you're looking for as part of that tribe. I think when you're younger, there's a lot more impulsivity right? Because your emotions are really running the show with your prefrontal cortex not fully there developed. So <laughs> right. you'll swing from, you know, hipster to goth to, and Johnny's probably been through all of them along the, those rock oh. and roll years. You know, you, you will have this impulsivity trying to find that, that tribe and that culture. But as you get older, you start to really know what exactly you're looking for in that tribe, what you want to surround yourself with, and what clearly doesn't feel right and you want to run from or move from, relocate from. So many people in our audience find themselves sometimes in that situation, either through career or through choice, that, you know what, this place just doesn't feel right. I need to relocate. And then they'll ask us, well, how do I find my new tribe? How do I really identify and find this new tribe? And we'll often say, well, look at the cultural production, right? So look outward. What, what movies do you like? What activities do you like? Look at the artifacts. What are those people wearing? How are they symbolizing that they're part of that? And then invite them to hang out with you, to be part of your tribe. And that's how you build the tribe. But tribes don't just open themselves up to you. You don't just stand on the corner, tribe walks by and says, hey, <laughs> you're wearing the right artifacts. Come on in and join our tribe. It takes effort. It takes action on your part. But you have to be paying attention and identifying these parts of culture that feel right to you. So when you are surrounded by those people, you can be the truest expression of yourself and it feels natural. It feels easy. That's right. And language becomes such a, a perfect way to do that. You know, uh, when you hear people talk and you go, man, I've always said the exact same thing. Where are you from? Who are you? What do you do? <laughs> like you hear people evangelize the same point of view you have and you go, man, these are my people, you know? I mean, this is kind of what dating is like too. You know, we we go on dates and we ask, what do you listen to? Where do you go? What do you like? Where do you stand on this? Then you go, nah, this isn't going to work out. No, 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 no. I mean, and, and it's the same thing when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to platonic uh, relationships. Like we're trying to find connection. We're trying to find congruence. You know, we often talk about social networking platforms being like a, an echo chamber, but like our real life networks are echo chambers too. You know, if you are a right-wing conservative, you do not have liberal best friends, you know, because you're just ideologically incongruent. Like, it, you can't agree on anything. Everything is a fight. You go, ugh, I can't with this guy, you know? And the same thing goes with our, with our people. We try to find connection. You go, you love Frank Ocean? I love Frank Ocean. What do you think about Nostalgia Ultra? Oh my God, I love Channel Orange. And like, we find ourselves connecting. And you go, these are proxies for us to say, you're one of us, right? And it's interesting, like you, I love you, you know, the, the, the analogy of like, you don't just drive by and say, oh, you're my tribe, unless we are wearing the artifacts that signal tribalism, right? So if you're in, I don't know, like if, if you know, AJ, you're, you're from Michigan, you, you went from Michigan, went to Michigan, if you're walking through an airport and you see someone with the block M, you may go, go blue. And they'll go, go blue. You go, oh, look at us uh, together, right? Those, those branded products become marks of identity, right? If you're in South Central Los Angeles and you're wearing red, you may be like, you're a blood too. I'm a blood too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> whatever the affiliation may, may be, we find connection. And I think it's, it's 
we that, that's what we're wired to do. We are social animals by nature, as Aristotle says, right? We do everything we can just to crash into each other. Evolutionary anthropologists would argue the reason why we were able to evolve was our ability to socialize, to cooperate. Everything about us is about connecting. And we use every shortcut that we can to surmise, are we together? Are you one of us? And we use these outward expressions, cultural production, artifacts, behaviors, and language as proxies to basically say, you believe what I believe, so therefore I'm safe. For the brain, it just means safety and survival. I'm safe around you. you I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in harm's way around you because we are one and the same. I wouldn't do it to you, so I know you wouldn't do it to me. And that's really what we're after from a, you know, a, a very evolutionarily focused viewpoint. Mm-hmm. 